I am blonde. I am naturally blonde, but I was dying my own hair. Mm -hmm. Who would have guessed that these celebrities actually had their hair dyed for these iconic roles? Certain characters require an actor to have a specific look, and if they don't naturally have the hair a character requires, then dyeing the hair is necessary to obtain the right look. This process of dyeing hair can be long and complicated, taking up a good portion of one's day, and it can leave some pretty nasty side effects, including completely destroying the hair. So which actors put their hair on the line for their roles, and which actors hated their new hair, and which ones preferred the dyed look? Let's dive in and find out. Is Sophie Turner real ginger? Mm. To get into her role as Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones, Sophie Turner had to dye her naturally blonde hair into a gingery orange. She said she was nervous to make the change, and that the process of dyeing her hair orange and then dyeing it back to blonde almost completely destroyed her hair. So much so that she had to wear a wig for the final season of Game of Thrones, as the hairstylist wouldn't allow her to dye her hair back orange, telling her that her hair would have fallen out. To make matters worse, she says she was kicked on Kick a Ginger Day in the UK. Happy National Kick a Ginger Day, and then just like started kicking me, and I was like, thanks guys. Yikes. Matt LeBlanc was only 27 years old when Friends first aired, which is why it is going to surprise you to find out that he actually had gray hair while filming for his role as Joey. They needed to start dyeing his hair in season two, as the gray was just too noticeable. And year after year, he got more and more gray hair, requiring more maintenance. This is season one, season two, <laughs> season three. And LeBlanc says the process took two hours to get his hair properly black, which he wasn't a fan of. So he started dyeing his own hair using Just For Men. The first time he did this, however, he forgot to protect his ears and showed up to work the next day with his ears dyed black. Nowadays, though, LeBlanc embraces the salt and pepper look. When Leighton Meester went into her audition for Gossip Girl, there was one big thing standing in her way of landing the role of Blair, her blonde hair. Gossip Girl co-creator Josh Schwartz asked her to dye her hair for the audition, because Blake Lively and her character Serena were already the blonde ones. Meester obliged, dyeing her hair in the sink and landing the role. She seems to have grown a liking to the color, as in 2019 she dyed her hair back to brunette on her own accord. The Hunger Games movie was highly anticipated when it was announced, and possibly the most important aspect of transitioning the book to screen was getting Katniss Everdeen just right. The naturally blonde hair of Jennifer Lawrence wouldn't work for the dark-haired girl from District 13, so her hair was dyed to match the brown hair Katniss sports in the books. Two movies worth of dyeing took its toll, however, and Lawrence ended up cutting her hair into a pixie cut after catching fire, stating her hair was completely fried from the hair dye. This resulted in Lawrence wearing a wig for the final two Hunger Games films. It's just <laughs> fried from being dyed so much. We all remember the classic blonde look Ashley Tisdale rocked in High School Musical and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but she's naturally a brunette, so dyeing her hair was necessary to achieve that look. It took up to four hours to get her hair dyed the right color, and at first, Tisdale wasn't too excited about being blonde. But she learned to love her new hair and actually kept her blonde hair for quite some time after her roles of Maddie and Sharpay came to an end. It takes hours to do my hair. Jennifer Aniston may be known as having sun-kissed blonde hair, but she actually has dark brown hair naturally. In the film Cake, she went back to her more natural roots, dyeing her hair brunette. But it didn't last long, as Aniston switched back to her more iconic blonde after the role. Which color do you prefer for Aniston? Evan Peters first dyed his brown hair blonde for the role of Tate Langdon on American Horror Story. Since then, we have seen Peters sport many different colors over the course of eight seasons on American Horror Story. This includes a brunette look more closely resembling his natural hair color, dark black hair as the character James March, a redhead look for the sixth season, and even blue hair for the character Kai Anderson in the seventh season. At this point, we wouldn't be surprised if you already forgot what his actual hair color is. KJ Appa had to transform into a redhead for his role as Archie in Riverdale. Unlike some of the other actors on this list, Appa didn't dye his hair for the audition and said that he didn't see anyone else with red hair at the auditions either. Hair dyeing wasn't a pleasant experience as Appa recalled the two and a half hour process. It's pretty gnarly, man. I had to go to the salon every two weeks to get it dyed and bleached the stuff. 
He also went on to say that they bleached his eyebrows the first couple of times, which burnt two holes into his skin. Ouch. You may be used to seeing Debbie Ryan with red hair on Jessie, but her natural hair color is actually blonde. Ryan explained in an interview that headlines about Jessie would incorrectly state she is a redhead, even though she has never identified that way. No. <laughs> she said that keeping her hair red requires a ton of maintenance, and she prefers to keep her hair blonde because it's who she is, not a character. For her role on Shadowhunters, Catherine McNamara went back to her roots, dyeing her hair red for her role as Clary. Before the role, McNamara had her hair dyed blonde, but she went back to her natural red hair color for the character. She posted pictures on Instagram bidding goodbye to her blonde hair, and showed the process of dyeing it back to red. Shailene Woodley's jet black hair in season 2 of Big Little Lies was a departure from her brown hair look in season 1. The actress had her hair dyed black and cut with bangs to get into the character of Jane. Since then, Woodley has returned her hair to her natural brown color. If season 3 ever happens, we wonder if Woodley will change her hair up once again. Rachel Brosnahan rocks a signature look as the title character on The Marvelous Miss Maisel, with her dark brown hairdo. But Brosnahan is actually a blonde in real life. She started dyeing her hair dark brown when she was 16, and says she prefers the brown color over her natural blonde. When I look in the mirror with dark hair, I feel like I see myself. And when I look in the mirror with blonde hair, I see a fun but slightly different version of myself. She went back to her natural blonde for the 2020 film I'm Your Woman. One advantage she notes of being known for having dark brown hair is that when she is blonde, she's more incognito in public. Either way, we think she looks great. And now the stage manager is going like this. We all know what that means in show business. Rooney Mara is almost completely unrecognizable in her role as Lisbeth in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. While her hair is normally brunette, she dyed it jet black for the film and cut it into a short pixie cut with micro bangs. Not only did they dye her hair, but they also bleached her eyebrows, which Mara thinks was the most important part in creating the character's appearance. When she first looked in the mirror after these major changes, she was completely freaked out for a couple of minutes. Mara eventually came to grow so accustomed to her new look, however, that when her eyebrows were put back to normal, she wanted them to be bleached back. It may be hard to picture Anna Paquin as a brunette after watching her play Sookie in True Blood, but that is, in fact, her natural hair color. When she first went blonde for the show, she took a stance against those who might call her a Barbie doll for the new look. I don't like a Barbie doll, and probably never will. The second you dye your hair and get a spray tan, people treat you as if you're a bit stupider and happier. Despite what a few small-minded people may say, she pulls off the look perfectly and absolutely kills it in her role as Sookie. The naturally blonde Cole Sprouse, as one may conjure images from his days on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, ditches that color for black as his character Jughead on Riverdale. In an interview with E, Sprouse joked that the dark hair helped people tell him and his twin apart. It makes it easier for people to tell my twin and I apart, that's for certain. <laughs> As long as Sprouse keeps playing his role on Riverdale, we'll continue to see him with his black hairstyle. Transforming into the role of Peta for The Hunger Games wasn't an easy process. Hutcherson had to dye his dark brown hair blonde, and it took three colorists to get the color just right. He hated how difficult it was to maintain the color, and was ready to get rid of it as soon as they were done filming the movies. Having to do touch-ups all the time and get my hair re-dyed and bleached was not my thing at all. We don't blame you, Josh. For his role as Alex on 13 Reasons Why, Heiser changed his brown hair to bleach blonde. He shared some behind-the-scenes photos of the process on Instagram, with the caption saying, I don't have a scalp anymore, but it was well worth it. Sounds like the process may have been a little harsh on his head, but he was right. It was definitely worth it. What's the first step in becoming one of the world's most infamous serial killers? Dyeing your hair, of course. The normally dirty blonde Efron dyed his hair dark black to match that of Ted Bundy's real-life hair. It was a great look, but was unfortunately paired with a representation of a horrible real-life person. We'll take Troy instead any day of the week. Those were some of the celebrities willing to take the plunge and try out a new hair color for their role. It wasn't for everybody, but there's no denying they looked great with the new color, even if it did leave some not-so-desirable side effects. Which actor would you like to see with dyed hair? And which actor do you think had the best dyed hair? Let us know!